Alright guys, welcome back. Um, I just finished the last episode and then I reorganized my inventory. Um, I made some potions of strength so we can run down there and uh, <clears throat> pwn some noobs, to put it bluntly. And hopefully that'll help us survive. I also cleared out some of the stuff in my inventory that I didn't think I really needed. Um, so, like, I can always... I can always make more potions later. Like, I realized in the last episode, I think you... I might have said it to you guys that I needed to find a slime so that I could make a, a fire resist potion, because those blazes no problem with fire resist potion. Um, and I can always make uh, one of these things really quick. I just need, you know, blaze rods, which I have. Um, and I can also seem to find in most dungeons. I guess it's just going to be the skin of this, of this map, apparently, because I keep forgetting to change it. Um... Yeah, so I can always make a brewing stand, because it's just blaze rod and cobblestone, and I have both of them. Um, the nether ward is a little bit harder to come across, because, uh, you know, I can only get it from these chests, unless I go to the nether. But I don't have any obsidian or diamond pick to get some obsidian. Um, so, yeah. Uh, let's, okay, well, silverfish just ran over there, and, uh, what is this a spawner for? Oh, just silverfish. Alright. That's not too big, of a too big of a deal. Oh, boy this dungeon is getting low, like really deep, so um, it's going to be really hard to see, especially if it goes any lower. Ow! Yeah, that hit me. Okay, you die, you die, you die. I'm going to drink this potion of strength right now, um, and replace that arrow. Ugh, bruh. So hopefully it'll, be, it'll allow me to um, do a decent amount of damage to some mobs. Or more damage, at least, than other ones. Or than I used to. Was the skeleton spawner? Yes, it is. And I've got that splash potion, just in case. Um, so, I don't really need to... Like, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use it now, because I don't have any redstone, so I can't make it last up to, like, a minute and a half, like it does otherwise. Um, so it's just, that one, like, straight from my face as I was moving. See? Two shot. That's why these potions are invaluable. Um, ah, right in the face. Okay. Die. Oh. Well, that was quick. I see, oh. Hey, buddy. Yes. I was going to keep these pants to repair my pants with, but... Um, oh, is there another one jumping around? He's nearby. I'm gonna have to find that other s that slime. Well, I suppose. No, oh, I think I found where he is. Oh my god! Well, I found a creeper spawner. I can't believe it just spawned four at once. Ow. Yep. That was dangerous. Please tell me there's not a hole of the void under there. <laughs> I wouldn't appreciate that very much. Okay. This room seems to be all clear. Oh. It only takes eight wood to make a stack of torches. Um, so it's not that big of a deal to just make torches. Did I break that creeper spawner? I don't think I did. Ooh, more coal. I was just about to say, but it does take quite a bit of coal, and then I just got a bunch of coal, so. That fixed that problem. Mm. <laughs> That's not where I want that to be. Okay. Oh, of course, the slime is in there with them. Why doesn't that surprise me? Ugh. Okay, so we got white wool. I I don't need that. Uh, I want I want those slime balls. <laughs> I don't I don't really know why. I mean, the one that I have will make three potions. I feel like there's a a chest in there. Probably, or several chests, actually, most likely. Um, did I even look in this chest? I think I did. Yeah, because I haven't gotten much, um, like, 
Okay, we don't have that in here, so that's good. They, they aren't silverfish, is what I was trying to say. Nope! Oh, boy. Oh, the slime's on fire. Oh, the little guy has to make it through. Okay, well, the slimes are dead. So I got that, at least. Yep, I'm on fire. No, that's not what I wanted you to do, you stupid thing in water. Wow, how am I not on fire? Oh, this is where potion of generation becomes useful. Oh god, get me out. Oh god, oh god, get me out, I'm scared. No, I'm so scared right now. Oh god, so scared, so scared. This was a terrible idea. Oh god. Oh, I'm sorry for whistling right into the mic there, guys. <laughs> that was probably really loud. That was also unintentional. But okay. There were no chests in there, as I expected. Um, or, well, I expected there to be chests in there, but there weren't. So that's how that went down. Uh, let's just get out of here before something terrible happens. Another slime. Boy. It's slime territory today. Oh, my potion just wore off. As I looked in my inventory, my potion wore off. That's fantastic. Um, let's see, is there another slime in here? I'm hearing more slimes. Where are they? Is there another room over here? Am I just getting farther away from it? I think I'm just getting farther away from it. It might just be above me, actually. Because I should be to the side of that stupid room now. That's not a... <laughs> that's not a, uh, shovel. No, let's drop that. And, 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 oh. <laughs> so confused. Yeah, I took my shovel out of my inventory. Because, um... Oops. Sorry, I'm uh, it wasn't doing me a whole lot of good. He must be up. I don't... What? What's the... What? Oh. Right, you can do this now. So that you don't have the whole thing in your... Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. But man, see, that, that potion of regeneration just saved my life, like, so, so seriously. I mean, I would not have survived that if it wasn't for that potion. It was also incredibly stupid of me, so I'm glad I went and took precautions for my own stupidity. Because um, otherwise I'd be definitely dead right now, and the series would probably be over, because, let's face it, I really don't want to um, go and... Ooh! I really don't want to, um, redo this whole map. I'm, I'm debating if whether, like, if I died, um, I mean, I'd definitely upload it if I died, because I don't want to be a douchebag that just kind of doesn't tell anybody when he dies and then just restarts the map. Um, because, like, I thought about maybe just, like, restarting the map if I do die. Um, I mean, again, obviously, I'd tell you. But, um, like, I'd upload, I'd upload, alright, I need to remember to take that off, because I don't even notice it there without the big thing over here and the big thing over here, I just don't even see it there anymore. Um, but yeah, like, I, I'd definitely tell you guys if I did die, um, it's just that I, I don't know if I would restart the map or if I would just start off from where I had left off, because I do keep a backup every episode, just in case um, something happens to the recording or whatever, I can start over from where I start where I ended last episode, um, but whether or not I'd actually use that to, um, my water go, oh crap, I left my water in the stupid thing with the, um, the blazes, alright, that's fine, we're going up to the surface and there's water up there anyway, I'm dropping this though. Well, actually, I'll just repair it with this one. 
Okay. Okay, anything in here that I want? I don't think so. I'll take that. Actually, I can turn that straight into a uh, slime ball. I mean, a magma cream now. So that's cool. <coughs> um, I, get, uh, I hear an Enderman. I don't like Endermen. They're not cool. And neither was that room with the stupid blazes. That was ridiculous. What is with the slimes? Oh, okay. There must be, like, a slime chunk. Either very close to this wall, or, um... I don't know. Because that's where I keep seeing them, is in, in that corner direction over there. Maybe that's just where slimes automatically run to. Uh, like, maybe they just go to that direction. Um, and that's why they're all... What the heck? Hi, Enderman. Don't look at me. I'm just your average, everyday, not not a person. Enderman just like you. That's what I am. Oh. Yeah. They're spawning in there. Um, it's probably nighttime, based on how few mobs are in there. Um, so what we will do is we don't have a bed. Never mind. Where did I put my bed? Did I throw it away? Did I put it in that chest down there? I might have put it in that chest down there. I can't remember. Okay, well, that room goes down, and this room goes down, so this one is the one that we need to go to get out. Yeah, we can always just grab water from the surface. Um, woo! Uh, because, the, ah, there's obviously just the ocean that I can just pull water from. Okay. Um, but, uh, Yeah, there was no butt there. I could just grab water from the ocean. No big deal. Uh, this, this looks like the entrance area thing. Anything interesting in here? No, not really. Wait, why don't I have any blocks to uh, build with? I mean, I have, I guess I have those. All right. That doesn't make me very happy though. <laughs> Having a bunch of sandstone because gas can blow up sandstone, and I mean, obviously we aren't we aren't fighting gas like the majority of the time, but when we do fight gas, I would really rather have a way to actually fight them, um, or protect against them at the very least. Uh, let's go check up what's in this chest again, because I don't remember what it was. Uh, let's look at that. At least that's useful. Is there a slime underneath us here? There he is. Is it worth it to just hop down there and get him? I'm gonna do it anyway. Wow, four slime balls from that. That seems like a lot. I think two is the max they can drop each, so you know. I won't ever make um, splash potions of harming in this map because, like, it'd be one thing if it wasn't hardcore, but they're way too easy to hit yourself with. So, it's not happening. But, uh... It might be fun in some other map, maybe. I, I like being in a position where I can actually make, uh... I don't even know what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, oh, right, I like being in a position where I can make potions. Because, um... It's... It just bodes well. You know? Like, I... I've got, I'm to a point where I can make the regen potions, I can make the blaze, uh, or the fire resist potions. Oh right, it makes me drop a thing when I do that. Well, let's, let's do this and we can drop, like, I don't know. What do we drop, guys? What do we drop? I'll bug it. Put that down. Um, put that there, that there. Let's make another bench here, just so I can get three. I'm actually going to do this just to smelt three, uh, three glass, or, yeah, three glass. Um, so I can make one potion. <laughs> I, like, I only need one more, so I'm just wasting two glass, or two glass bottles, but, oh well. Um, let's see, uh, depends on how long it'll take. Th that should be done by the time these, or these should be done before that finishes, right? Might be close. 
Oh, wait, no. Okay. I forgot that I had to actually turn them into bottles. <laughs> and then get water. Okay, there we go. Another war. Oh, you can jump on this. Okay. Oh, but only on the on the middle part. Gotcha. Okay, anything interesting over by the water? No? Not particularly interesting. Alright. So it only took us, like, an episode and a third to get through that. Uh, episode and a half to get through that. Uh, yeah. Episode and a half, about. Uh, magma cream. Or put the magma cream in there. You know what I mean. I'm thinking about just ditching this sand now that I've got some, uh... Fire resist potions. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like potions should stack. <laughs> it's just it's annoying to um to not have stacking potions. I mean maybe I'm just a bit whiny, but See, the problem with this is that I've got these I, I don't want that. Um, I've got these, but if I drop them now, then I won't be able to make more later. But I, I really shouldn't need more than three minutes of fire resist per dungeon. And if I can't find more slime balls like than that, in that amount of time, then that's a little bit rough. Um, I don't really need the sand. I'll have these bottles to drink. Um, should the time or should the need arise? Uh, let's just drop the under. Eh, let's drop the sand and the balls. Um, but then we can't always get sand anywhere. Oh my god! I just need to make up my freaking mind. Um, okay. Uh, you know what? I never wear those. Take the sand. Okay. There we go. And I'll keep the brewing stand on me because um, the. I only have five blaze rods, and one of them can make six potions. So, uh, because you you get two blaze powder per blaze rod, whereas you know I could use it to make one brewing stand, um, which doesn't make any potions. So if I use it to make a brewing stand, I'm effectively wasting six potions, and it's almost night time, which isn't so fun. I could just make a bed out of the wool that I've got, if I really want to. But I'm not going to. Just because. <laughs> Running in the desert, just looking for a thingamajigger. Yeah, I don't know if that was my attempt at singing or something. I'm, I'm really not good at singing. You don't... Ooh! You know, I've never actually seen one of these spawn naturally. Um, and they do spawn naturally. They're just like well things. I don't know if there's anything in it. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming there's a dungeon in it. But it could just be... No, it's just a well. That I may have just trapped myself in. With mobs everywhere. I'm almost wishing, wishing that I had a potion of speed right now. Which I could pick up if my inventory wasn't full. I mean, th I could pick up those reeds if my inventory wasn't full. Um, which I could use to make sugar. Which I could use to... Er, they're sugar cane, not reeds. Don't hit me! Okay, we're good. Um, I could pick up those sugar cane. And, yeah, see, there's no caves underground, so these things are just spawning like crazy now. And I don't like this. And why don't I have any building blocks on my bar? So what I'm going to do... So I'm going to pillar up. Okay, this looks good. Man, of course, I just got rid of my feather falling boots, and then I built a little pillar up here. And I'm going to make a little platform like this. Eat something. And then make a workbench. And... Don't fall... Oh, I fell off the edge. Oh, well. <laughs> I don't really need it that much, so... I don't, I'm just going to use the white wool, because it's white. And you can just get that from sheep. Oh, oh, look at me! Hi! 
Hi. Holding down shift. If you were wondering. Alrighty. Let's just throw that over the edge. And that. Let's kill these creepers. Just real quick. I'm surprised that the skeletons and stuff haven't tried to get underneath this platform. Because they do try to hide and get under cover. Um, alright. Have we been in the forest yet? I don't think we have. I mean, we went in it a little bit at one point. I wonder if this is the same forest. Yeah, I think this is the same forest. I think this is actually where the forest meets the thing, which meets the plains, where we originally started. So, I believe, um, that... Oh, oh, or not. Yeah, no, I have no idea where we are. <laughs> um, but... There's hopefully something in this forest here. And I may have to just burn the forest down to find it. Because, let's see, we went through a jungle. And, um... We found the thing in there, but I don't think we went through... This is definitely the same forest. I think this is the same forest. Is it the same forest? I remember seeing a pumpkin. Do you guys remember seeing a pumpkin? I have no idea. Um, that looks like either a jungle or a dungeon. <laughs> No, that would be a dungeon, yes. Or the Victory Monument, which would be awesome. Come on, Victory Monument. Anytime now. Anytime now. That's going to cause a lot of lag up there. Um, oh god, spawners already? Really? Is that necessary? Okay, not necessary. Not necessary. I can tell you that right now. Blaze spawners, not necessary. Let's see how high up I can get by just climbing the trees. Oh, I, it's making me really wish that I hadn't um, gotten rid of those feather falling boots. Like, really, really. I saw a platform up at the top, so I'm going to try to get up there. I'm also going to make this entire tree decay by breaking these leaf blocks. Which could make things a little scary for us. Whoa! Okay, yep, you break. You just... Okay. Block there. We're good. Again, I need to be really, really careful. And actually watch what I'm jumping on, because I didn't even know that there was a block underneath me at that point. I just jumped, so. I don't like things that are high up. Remember how we died the first time? You remember that? That was awful. I don't want to do that again. I really, really don't. But I see it happening again. <laughs> and, uh, there's nothing I can really do about it. Except to be careful. And by careful, I mean hold shift at all costs. Oh, thank god. I saw red, and I went, it's TNT! Run! <laughs> but it's actually just, apparently, a, uh, a wool room. Is this actually a dungeon, or is it just like, I mean, obviously there's wool in it, but is it a dungeon? Or is it just a, a place? with wool. Good. Oh, why do I hear fire? Is that the danger of this place? They light you on fire as soon as you walk in? Or the whole place just burns down while you're in it? I really, really hope that's not the danger of this place. Because if that is the danger of this place, then we're kind of screwed. In a very bad way. That's a big forest. That's a really big forest. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. Um, see any other kind of dungeon somewhere? 
Let's get up on top. And take a look around. There's the desert where we came from. Um, I keep I see little things like that, but I think that's just a birch tree, and that one, and that one. I think they're just birch trees. I'm on far render distance. I really hope there's nothing that's like. Am I on far render distance? I'm pretty sure I'm on far render distance. Far. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Um. So if there's something out there. Oh god, the leaves are decaying and it's lagging. If there's something out there that I can't see, then um, it's really far out there. Oh, let's go over there. Uh, whoa, whoa. Yep, see, that's the lag that I'm talking about. Um, I'm sure it's not helping that I am on fast graphics. I mean, fancy graphics. So, you know. Oh, that's scary. Um, all of this, all of the leaves here are making light, like every single leaf makes a light calculation. Um, which can be... <laughs> I don't like this. Did I bring my sand with me? Oh, thank God. Why can't I? There we go. Okay, well I can hop down here. And then I'll just do this. Okay, oh wow, that could have been bad. Okay, I guess that sandbox is going there. Okay, now I can hop down onto this. And just dig my way down. This is what I kept that sand for that entire time. Like, I knew I'd need it eventually. Um, when I first got it, so I was like, I'll just hang on to it, because, you know, in in a situation where I get high up and need to get back down to the bottom, you know, sand could save my life, like, right there. Um, but, uh, I never actually really used, oh my god, I didn't realize it was a mountain. What What is with all the tall things all of a sudden? And what time is it? It's almost time for me to end the episode. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Yep, that is definitely a tall mountain. Uh, let's hope that the, the dungeon is on top of it, not underneath it. Because uh, as, as fun as underground is, I'm kind of tired of it. I don't know about you guys, and I'd like to just go up to the top of that mountain anyway. Or I should say I'm going to the top of the mountain regardless. So, you know, I really hope that there's something worth it at the top. It actually looks like it might be kind of a volcano situation thingy. Um, so that's neat. Uh, hopefully there isn't lava inside though, because it it kind of gets like flat up at the top there, you know. So I can't tell if it's um if it just gets flat, or if it's actually like you know has a hole in it at the top. Uh, I just want to check around what's on the other side of the mountain. Probably just more trees. And water? No, it's just not loading very quickly. Alright, I think it's just trees. Regardless, we'll see it from the top. So, let's start our way up. Maybe I'll get to the top before the end of this episode. Just um, to see if there is anything up there. Or at, or at the very least, we'll get a nice view. You know, that's, that's always nice. Oh, I meant to jump up there. channel the inner billy goat. I always say that when I go jumping around like this. Because I am actually pretty good at climbing mountains without, like, destroying the mountain. Um, or changing any part of it. I don't really know why. It's not, like, a fantastic talent to have, considering it doesn't actually apply in real life. Just Minecraft. Um, but, oh, oh, water. That's weird. I just take that for myself. Replace it with lava. Kill all the wildlife. Just for fun, of course. Because that makes it less creepy. And it's getting steeper over here, so we're going to have to come back over to this side where it wasn't quite so steep. <laughs> all 
Alrighty. And we've hit stone, and here's cobblestone. <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, that's just not loaded. Um, as is that side of the mountain over there. Or as isn't that side of the mountain. Mountain. I. Wow. Okay. I guess talking for an hour. Uh, not my strong suit. I think there's something in that mountain over there. Okay. They all point towards the center here. I don't, I don't like that. Okay, get me out of here. Come on. Um, come on. Minecraft. Load it. Load it better. Just do it. Like, what is down in that hole there? Just tell me. Just show it to me. This is getting creepy. Um, I thought there would be something up because of this cobblestone here, but probably not. There might be a chest on top of the mountain, though, at the very least. Um, I do like that there's snow all over the top of the mountain. It's a nice little touch. I mean, some people like to make their mountains, um, like, they make the top out of snow, because uh, that way it actually looks like it's covered in snow, because even the sides look like snow, instead of just the, the top part being covered in snow. Oh, it looks like he actually does that up top. Um, which, I mean, <laughs> it looks it looks better, but it's just it's super silly, because it's like, why is this mountain made of snow, guys? I mean, come on. Mountains aren't made of snow. Mountains are made of rock and dirt. And wow, we're high up, and it's also really dark out. That looks dangerous. I don't know what's going on with that. Is that where the water comes from? No. I'm confused, guys. Is there... There's coal in this one. Maybe there's something different in each one. I wonder if we can get diamond. That'd be cool. Can mobs spawn on snow? I don't remember. That looks really weird. Okay, it's not going to load stuff, apparently. We have several mountains. Hold on, I'm just going to stop the recording real quick, and then start it up again so this will, can all load quickly, because that should help. Alrighty. Um, yeah, you can see there's a... A dun or not a dungeon, but a wool, a wool box over there. So that's cool. I mean, it still hasn't loaded stuff over there. It's pretty far away, guys. So keep that in mind. Um, like we are ridiculously high. Like, see those things down there? Th those are the clouds. Um, way down there. What is that? I can't tell if that's a building or an unloaded chunk, or even just forest. Hold on, let's make a bed and sleep through the night so we can see the beautiful sunrise from up on top of the mountain. Um, once again, we'll just use white wool, because that's not hard to get. And as far as I'm concerned, I've finished the dungeon. I mean, if I need to use the white, if I need to use wool for a bed because there are no sheep around, I'm not going to feel bad. I'm not going to feel bad, I won't do it, I'm kidding. Well, I wasn't kidding, but I, I'm not going to do it because I would feel bad. And yeah, that's just un that's just unloaded stuff, we're good. The sun. Where's the sun? Oh, it's all the way over there. Oh, yeah, the horizon is right there, so it it uh, rose pretty high up. Oh, and I also checked down here, see if there was anything interesting, but it looks like it was just just coal. So, I wonder if all the mountains are filled with coal, or if it's just this one, or if they all have different stuff in them. I don't know. Um, well, it looks like there's nothing in either of those two, because it doesn't have like a little top like this. But anyway... Um, so next episode we'll get around to doing stuff, going over there and checking that out. That should be fun to climb, right? Right? Be a lot easier if I had my ladders still. I could just build ladders up the side. Anyway, okay. So uh, I will leave you with this beautiful view of the of the surrounding landscape that you can't really see that far uh, because, like, it's it's the same distance that you can see regardless of how high you are. So once you get really high up, the distance doesn't look so much. Like, you know, down there, you probably couldn't even see that side because of all the trees and stuff around, but up here, you can see it clearly. Like, that's... Especially if you go like this, look down in the bottom left corner, you can see that just, like, straight line. But, anyway. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time when we head over to that mountain. Bye!